Today, we're in a really cool truck. This is a TLC4x4.com project. To be precise, we are in a 1985 FJ60, and this is built in uh, a style we do, we call 140. 140 is where we take an FJ60, and we build it upon an FZJ80. Get it? 80 plus 60? You're catching up. So what does that really mean? Well, that means you get arguably um, more classic styled body with simpler content and construction techniques that'll last longer than an 80, but you get a lot of the benefits of the 80 series. So this one, like most that we do, is running the General Motors 6.2 LS3 fuel injected emission certified aluminum V8. Uh, being that this is a stage three level restoration, that means absolutely no stone was unturned. It was stripped all the way down to the bare ladder frame, as you can see in these process images. The frame was then modified in wheelbase to be able to fit the 60 body. Track width is not a problem, although it is a little bit wider. We solved that by doing one-off forged aluminum wheels, where I attempted to keep the aesthetic of the classic vintage earlier style, you know, FJ40 wheels, with the original Toyota stainless steel hubcaps, with a pretty aggressive uh, inset, which made it so it didn't look like a 70s skateboard, and in fact made it more retro. Continuing on that retro theme, we sort of backdated the whole truck in general and how we designed it. So um, there's less of the bright work and exterior trim. We did the Icon design based rear view mirrors that we offer on the site. Those are CNC powder coated aluminum. Other modifications on the exterior of the truck, we left the stock bumpers, but with the FZJ80, really a kind of the only bummer that I'd point out on the mechanical engineering on that platform is they put the spare tire underneath the vehicle and it kind of hangs down. So if you're actually going to use the trucks off road, it is absolutely the very first thing that gets hung up on a rock, ripped out from under your chassis. And it uh, is not a happy day when that happens. You can actually cause a lot of damage. So been wanting to do this for a while so we use this truck basically as the prototype upon which we developed a three axis braced spare tire carrier that secures through to the chassis. Other than that we have LED lighting inside and out. We have the H55F five speed. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm wrong. I forget the model number on it, but it's the non USA. 80 series five speed tranny with the 80 series full time four wheel drive transfer case, which is high range and low range capable. It's full time four wheel drive. We added the ARB locking differentials. We did old man emu suspension components married with Fox racing shocks and sway bar. The entire chassis is powder coated mill spec one, as are the axle assemblies. The interior on the truck came out really cool. Our buddies at Relicate that we get some of our custom leathers from came out with this cool sort of like, I don't know, it's not really a tartan, I don't know, but like this cool kind of blue and charcoal and light gray textile, which around the perimeters we're running a marine grade charcoal vinyl that's very stock um, color palette uh, to the original 60 so that it jived with the remaining existing stock stuff. For the audio system, we deplaced the original radio and did a control panel that allows you to control your locking differentials and your air compressor. The seat foams have been replaced. The interior is aligned in copious amounts of Dynamat. That's why it's so nice and whispery quiet. And then uh, we did the Icon Learjet Rose and Visors just because they rock. And the dash pad is no longer available from Toyota. So we had this dash pad restored at great cost uh, from our friends at Just Dashes, who are really the best in the business for doing that sort of thing. The steering wheel was restored. The steering wheel was 
hand stitched and wrapped. The Icon console doesn't fit so good in these. We're thinking about and prototyping a thinner one for this app, but we didn't have it ready in time, so we ran the good old school Tuffy. In the front plane of the Tuffy, you'll notice the seat heater controls for the carbon fiber heat blankets. Carpets are marine rated dense cut pile. Pedals are cribbed again from the Icon parts bin, and they are the machined aluminum with a textured grip surface for greater foot attraction. And we left it manual windows. We did a stealth audio system that's um, Bluetooth dependent. It is the newest version, the Mark V, um, that supports phone Bluetooth as well as um, your full digital audio sound process system running focal speakers with hidden amps, bases hiding under the passenger seat. Headliner is in the original sort of crater design uh, that would have been stock on an early FJ60 as opposed to the sort of velveteen stuff that is absolutely impossible to maintain. So we prefer to kind of backdate the headliner on these. What else, what else, what else, you know? I think that's just about it. We did the JDM and Kilometer and Digital Clock Package, which is kind of nifty. I know I'm missing something, but I'm gonna shut up now, and I'm gonna thank you for taking the time to watch yet another one of my blah, blah, blah videos. I'm glad that you guys appreciate them, and we love that you support our brand. Any questions, the website, tlc4x4.com. The old school telephono is 818-280-3330. TLC4X4 on Instagram, although I'm kind of lazy and don't have a social media manager, so I mostly post all my TLC stuff, my leather craft stuff, my watch geekness, my travel, and my icon projects, all on the icon4x4 Instagram feed. Thanks again. Can't wait to see you guys on the next one.